There is only circumstantial evidence linking Sosajima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. Mayumi is suffering from dementia. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. But... She might not remember. Correct. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura Fishery. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Hmm. Still, something's not right. I am more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. If all of his security staff are this heavily armed, the Kuza gangs pale in comparison. Is So trying to start trouble? Unknown, but there is definitely more than he is letting on. There is an important piece of news. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Fingerprints were found on it. Whose? Mayumi Matsushita's. What? Mayumi bought the chocolate at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. This was captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called Eights. Eight is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? Unknown. All that is known for certain is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an 8 store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well... Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming, but there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yes, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. I'll meet you there. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. All right, that's good. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Yeah, sure.
Oh, yeah. You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But you're not gonna get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Her surgery was successful, right? Yeah, thanks to you. If you weren't there, Iris would have been in real trouble. I'm Tessa's biggest fan. Any fan would have done what I did. It's nothing special. It's as normal as... garlic and ramen. I think that depends on preference. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared of my new power. When I locked eyes with that polar bear, I saw him start shaking. He saw how strong I was and got scared, no doubt. Ota's body temperature is rising. He's embellishing his story quite a bit. I think we can let that go today. Yeah, you're right. Were you watching the stream? A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. That's... <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is gonna come crashing down. <sighs> but I can't tell you. Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. No. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. Okay. You mean after... hitting you with the walk? Yes. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. But then, I heard Tessa screaming. Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could, but the car was driving away! I looked around, and I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. I thought after I hit you. You shouldn't have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. 
What happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear, and I think I was fighting him for a while. And we got tangled up, and then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Just to make absolutely certain, you didn't see who was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry, I told you everything. I can't think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? Does this jog your memory? Oh, that. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Absolutely. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Is that when you bought your new phone? Yeah. Why did you hide that? Because... something happened after. This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. Iris was driving it? Whoa! You surprised me! I'm more surprised than you are! Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, yeah, of course I do. Not have one. You don't have a license? Shh. Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. I had to borrow his car. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. That's what I meant by that thing. An idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. Saturday at 6.15 p.m., Ota saw Iris and Renju together. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later, Ota witnessed Iris driving Renju's car. What are your thoughts? This is sounding really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. What is going on here? Date, Ota is acting strange. I advise caution. What do you mean? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know.
Let me go! Let me go! What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up! Just let me go! Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. But you can still get information inside his head. Dante, as you know, the limit is six minutes. Please, do not go over it. Won't be a problem, but... Are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But... It's fine. Just get it done. Good enough for me. Can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Is this a cold storage warehouse? Seems to be. Not a manga cafe? Or an otaku shop? No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live-action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is... bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... Iris is about to be... Stop right there! The heavens call, the earth cries out, the crowds roar! All calling on me to strike back against evil! Hold on, Tessa! I will save you! Yeah! I will protect Tessa! Uh... Is this from the stream we saw earlier? This is Ota's memory of it. It appears to be a bit exaggerated. All right, let's help reproduce the memory. Somnium scan, activate! was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. <laughs> 